Welcome to Pautundu. This video is for those people who are having the shares and security bonds in the physical form. On 16th March 2023, SEBI Securities and Exchange Board of India has issued a circular which came into effect from 1st April 2023. As per the circular, the folios which are not seeded with PAN, KOC and nomination details will be frozen. Once these are frozen, then interest, dividend or redemption will not be paid to them from 1st October 2023. And also any service request by the investors will not be entertained. So this is the important notes of that circular and also further it has informed that any such payments will be made only in the electronic form from 1st April 2024. And also if these requirements are not fulfilled and that folios continues to be in the frozen, then by 31st December 2025, these folios will be referred to the authorities who are looking after Pinomi Transaction Act and Prevention of Money Laundering Act. So, this will create a problem for the investors. So, I request the investors who are maintaining their physical form to immediately update their KOC, PAN, and nomination details in your folio by applied to your register and transfer agent that is RTA. I will explain the procedure how to do it and further details of that circular. We are maintaining the shares and security items in the physical form due to various reasons. The main reasons may be mismatch in the signature and there may be a change in the name or there may be a change in the address. So this may not be updated in your folio and uh, the investors may be facing problem in dematerializing them. Hitherto the different companies and their RTAs were following a different procedures for affecting this investor's request to match the signature or correct the name and change the address. Some RTS are insisting for attestation from the notary public or affidavit from the notary public, indemnity and all those procedures. And they are following different formats also. For one company we have to submit in one form and another company we have to submit in another form. So by this circular dated 16th March, SEBI has introduced a common and simplified norms for processing the investor's service request. And also they have introduced standard forms for various investor service requests. So we, this that entire procedure is simplified. Now I tell the what are all the things we have to do. The KOC documents PAN card has to be submitted in the form number ISR1. All these forms and investors can download from the website of the SEBI which I have given here or the respective websites of the RTS which are maintaining your folios. They are advised to provide the soft copy of these forms. Okay. So this request for KOC updation and PAN has to be submitted in ISR 1. And the nomination has to be submitted in SH1313 format. If there is already an existing nomination, then you need to change them, delete them, then you have to submit SH1414. 
suppose if you are opt out from nomination that is another thing then you have to submit isr 3 so these are all the basic things what we have to do then for our service request for mismatch of the signature mismatch of the name change in the address updating the bank details updating your mobile number updating your email id we have to use the form isr1 so in that form we have to fill and the documents are required to submit for each service request or let me give it if the signature difference is a minor nature one that rta will send a confirmation letter to the registered address by speed post and to the registered mail in a mail and sms to the registered mobile giving a 15 days notice for any kind of an objection if the letter is delivered and there is no objection from the investor for the 15 days then that mismatch in the signature will be taken as it is if the letter is not delivered and written back but the mismatch is confirmed by the investor through the email then also the mismatch will be accepted but either the letter is not delivered and written and there is no confirmation by email then the minor mismatch will be treated as a major mismatch and the procedure to rectify major mismatch has to be followed for the major mismatch in the signature there are two options for the investor one directly they can visit any office of the rta and execute their signature in front of the officials that is in person visit then the mismatch will be accepted after accepting required documents like pan card and aadhar card those who cannot visit the RTS office then they have to follow the next option they have to submit a original cancelled check in which their name is printed in it or they have to submit bank's passbook or bank statement self attested by them here the self attested means they have to put their signature as self attested with the date that's all along with this cancelled check or bank statement or bank passbook they have to submit isr2 form also in isr2 form the banker where the account is maintained will attest to the signature of the investor so they have to submit either the cancelled check leaf or bank passbook or bank statement along with the ISR2 signed by the bank. Then the major mismatch in the signature will be accepted. Then change in the name. There may be two kinds of a change. One is the minor change in the name. That initial put in front of the name or after the name or the expansion of the initial like this. These are all the minor mismatches. So the minor mismatches will be accepted if the signature registered with the RTA and the signature in the request forms are matching, then the minor mismatch in the name will be accepted. Suppose if the signature is not tallying or there is a major change in the name, maybe after the marriage, the name of the female may be changed or there may be a a great change in the name then they have to submit either one of these self attested documents aadhar card or pan card or passport or driving license or any id card with the photo issued by the state or central government or a public sector undertaking 
or state or central government departments or com scheduled commercial banks if they photo identity card copy is submitted then major mismatch in the name can be accepted if the change is due to the marriage then they have to submit marriage certificate or the passport where the spouse name is also included or a gazette publication in the newspaper these things can be accepted for change due to the marriage then change or seeding the bank details the investor has to submit a original cancelled check with their name printed on it or a bank statement or a bank passbook signed by the banker and the bank details will be updated for the change in the address the rta will send letters to the both old address and new address seeking any objection if the address in the old address are delivered and there is no objection then the change will be accepted the letter to the old address is returned then they have to submit a document a aadhar where the latest address is there driving a license with the latest address passport with the latest address or any utility bill with the latest address and which is not older than 3 months or flat maintenance bill the latest bill or any lease agreement registered one for the current resistance or sale deed for the current address if it is submitted then the change in address can be accepted apart from that above mentioned any id card with the latest address issued by the state government central government or their departments public sector undertakings scheduled commercial banks or financial institutions can be also accepted isr1 form is used for the investors request for kyc updation pan updation email updation mobile phone updation change in the name change in this signature change in the address and all the things isr2 is used where the signature mismatch is major and they have to get it from the bank is3 is used for an investor to opt out of the nomination facility sh13 is used for fresh nomination and sh14 is used for cancelling the nomination rta are advised by the sebi if they are having any objection in the documents submitted by the investors they should not raise repeated queries and clarification in single go they have to ask all their queries or raise all their objections and get it resolved immediately so this will facilitate the investors who are having their securities in the physical form and at the earliest please convert them to the dematerialization form thank you பூம்புதல் மூலோர் தொகுத்தவற்றுள் எல்லாம் தலை